Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss a few questions from the chapter Electrostatics, which have come in NEET. So, first question is from NEET 2019. A hollow metal sphere of radius r is uniformly charged. The electric field due to sphere at distance small r from the center. Okay. So, this is a hollow sphere. Okay. And this distance is r okay r capital r is the radius and it is asked that how the electric field varies with small r okay small r is the variable distance so if you are inside r is less than r if you are outside r is greater than r if on surface r is equal to r okay for a charged hollow sphere we know that inside the hollow sphere electric field is intensity is zero okay here it is electric field intensity is zero e inside it is zero and outside it is e is equal to one by four by epsilon naught q by r square now if q is the charge and you are finding suppose electric field at this point which is r greater than r correct so if we draw the variation of electric field with distance so this is electric field this is r equal to r on the surface if you are inside so that is r less than r if you are outside r greater than r so here electric field intensity will be zero and outside electric field intensity will decrease like this so this is e inversely proportional to r square outside e inversely proportional to r square inside electric field intensity is zero okay so this is the graph showing the variation of electric field intensity with distance for a hollow sphere this is not asked but this is the uh, complete concept okay this you can get these results you can get by using Gauss's theorem so for this particular thing option C goes with the answer option C 0 as R increases for R less than R for R less than R means you are inside as R increases the electric field intensity in this region is 0 okay and decreases as R increases for R greater than R that means for R greater than R if you are going outside as R increases, electric intensity decreases. Okay, so this is option C is the correct answer. Now moving to the next question, this is again from NEET 2019. Two point charges A and B having charges plus Q and minus Q are placed at certain distance apart and force acting between them is F. If 25% charge from A is transferred to B, then force between them becomes so what is the new force when charge is transferred from A to B? Okay, so this is A, this is B, this A charge is uh, plus Q, this is plus Q, this is minus Q. Okay, so in this case force is uh, force is proportional to, we know that it is pro proportional to product of the charges. Okay, here distances and other things, medium is not changing, distance is not changing. So in this case, this force is proportional to uh, Q square. Okay, charge is transferred from A to B. Okay, how much charge is transferred? 25%. So if 25% of this plus Q is transferred to this, so how much is left? 75%. So this is 3Q by 4. Okay, now if 25% is transferred to this, so if this is minus Q, 25% means plus Q by 4 it is going from this side. From Q, Q by 4 is removed. 25% means Q by 4. So this becomes uh, minus. 3q by 4. Here is the new force is f dash. So f dash will be proportional to this is uh, 9 by 16 q square. Okay. I have ignored this minus sign in both cases. Okay. So this force is proportional to initial force is proportional to q square. New force is proportional to 9 by 16 times q square. So this q square can be replaced by f. So that means new force is 9 by 16 times f. Okay, so among the given options, option C is the correct answer. So another question from NEET 2019. Two parallel infinite line charges with linear charge densities plus lambda coulomb per meter and minus lambda coulomb per meter are placed at distance 2R in free space. What is the electric field midway between the two line charges? Okay, see for a line charge, if lambda is the linear charge density, okay, and if you are at distance R, so here the electric field intensity, if this is positive charge, electric field intensity will be directed away, okay, and if this 
linear charge density is negative, then electric field intensity will be directed towards the light charge. So in this case, E will be equal to lambda by twice by epsilon naught R. Okay, R is the distance. Okay. Now in this particular case, we have uh, two light charges having linear charge density plus lambda and minus lambda. So this is plus lambda, this is minus lambda. This separation is twice R. At midpoint, we have to find the electric field intensity. Okay. So this distance is R. This is also R. So this is plus lambda means at this point electric field intensity it will be in this direction. Okay, suppose this is E1. This is for minus lambda also for negative charge it will be directed towards the light charge. So suppose that is E2. So both are in the same direction. So resultant field E will be equal to E1 plus E2. Okay, here E1 and E2 will have same magnitude. Why? Because uh, lambda or this differs only by sign. And distance is also same, this is R, this is R. So that means I can write P equal to lambda by twice pi epsilon naught R times 2. Okay, because both are equal. Okay, so this is this 2 cancels out. So P is equal to lambda by pi epsilon naught R. Okay, so from the given options, option D is the correct answer. Okay. So this question is from uh, NEET 2015. If potential in volts in a region is expressed as potential x, y, z is equal to 6 x, y minus y plus 2 y, z. Okay. The electric field in Newton per coulomb, we have to locate the electric field at uh, E at 1 comma 1 comma 0. Okay. So, see here we have to uh, find the electric field potential is given. So, what is the relation between electric field and potential? The relation is electric field, it is negative gradient of electric potential. Okay. Now, here you have to find the electric field at a specific location. Okay. Options that are given, they are in vector form. So, that means we have to express electric field in vector form. So, this expression in vector form, it is written like this. E, e is equal to minus I cap dv by dx minus j cap dv by dy minus k cap dv by dz okay so this is e is equal to minus i cap dv by dx means you have to differentiate this entire quantity with respect to x okay so if you differentiate with respect to x these two quantities don't have x so this will be zero this has x so this will be 6y Okay, minus j cap. Now you have to differentiate this entire quantity with respect to y. So this will be uh, 6x. This is minus y. So minus y means uh, minus 1 uh, plus 2z. Okay. So then this d by dz means we have to differentiate with respect to z. So minus k cap. Differentiation with respect to z means these two terms become 0, this becomes twice y. Okay, so now we have to locate the electric field at this location. So this is the value of x, this is the value of y, this is the value of z. Okay, so we have to substitute these values over here. So this is e is equal to minus i cap. y is 1, so 6 minus j cap. x is 1, so this is 6 minus 1, uh, this z is 0, so plus 0, then minus k, j cap, y is 1, so this is 2, so this is e equal to, so this becomes e equal to minus 6 i cap, this is minus 5 j cap, minus 2 k cap, okay, so this is the value of the electric field, now, from the given options, option D is the correct answer. Now, next question is from NEET 2016. An electric dipole is placed at an angle 30 degree with the electric field intensity of 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per coulomb. It experiences a torque equal to 4 Newton meter. The charge of the dipole, if the dipole length is 2 centimeter, 
So we have to find the charge of the dipole. Okay. So now see torque on dipole, it is given by P E sin theta. P is the dipole moment, E is the strength of electric field, theta is the angle between the dipole and the electric field. Okay. But like uh, suppose this is the direction of the electric field and this is the dipole. So this is minus Q, this is plus Q. So this is the direction of the dipole moment. Direction of dipole means direction of dipole moment. This is the direction of electric field. This angle is theta. So this angle is this theta. Okay. Now what is this P? This P is Q times twice A where this twice A is the length of the dipole and it is length of the dipole is always measured from negative charge to positive charge. Okay. Now in this particular question what are the things that are given? It experiences a torque of 4 Newton meter. So this tau is given to be 4. Okay. And we have to find the charge on the dipole. So that is Q we have to find. So P is replaced by Q times twice A. Twice A means length of the dipole. Okay. Dipole length is 2 centimeter. So that is 2 into 10 power minus 2 meter. Okay. Uh, multiplied by the electric field. The strength of electric field is 2 into 10 power 5. So this is 2 into 10 power 5. Okay. Then sine theta, sine 30 degree. Into sine 30 degree. How much is sine 30? Sine 30 is half. So this 2 and this 2. Sine 30 half means that 2 and 2 cancels out. Okay. So this is uh, 4 is equal to Q, uh, 2 into 10 power 3, so this is 2, so Q is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 3 coulomb, okay, that is 2 milli coulomb, okay, so among the given options, option B is the correct answer.